So Marcus, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. So Swiss Development Corporation, and specifically the Global Program on Migration and Development, has been doing a lot in the field of migration and development globally. And we've seen so many different terms of events also in the last couple of years. So can you tell me a bit about what the Global Program is doing and in these areas and where you think we should be putting more emphasis in the coming years? Yeah, basically the one of the tasks or the main task of the Global Program is to get engaged in this international debate, the global the global debate on migration and development and we can only do this if we base our our wordings, our positions on concrete experiences. And that's the second uh, part of our global program. So concrete pilot projects, uh, sometimes very innovative approaches that we can then feed into that global, uh, global dialogue and global process, which gives us also the necessary uh, credibility to get heard. Yeah. And where do you think we need to be going with these global dialogues and these global processes in the future? Well, there are a lot of challenges uh, ahead. Uh, migration is on top of the agenda, which is on the one hand a good thing, on the other hand uh, it is also very politically uh, mm -hmm. exposed, and this is sometimes uh, an obstacle. Mm -hmm. We hope that we manage to get the good wording that we had uh, in the agenda 2030, mm -hmm. meaning the acknowledgement of the contributions of migrants to sustainable development and inclusive growth. So we managed to get this wording also through the future processes. Mm -hmm. That's one of the objectives. Uh, we'll see where we, where we are in, in two years' time when we have the results of the Global Compact on Safe and Regular Migration. Mm -hmm. And what do you think other countries could perhaps learn from Switzerland or what do you think other countries should be doing in this respect? Um, well, I think we have quite good structures between the different ministries. That's mm -hmm. something that we, we experience that other countries are, are looking closely at our system, how we work together. Mm -hmm. That's an important part. Uh, also, uh, they see that we don't agree necessarily between mm -hmm. the different ministries, the different, the different units, mm -hmm. but we still talk to each other and try to be as coherent as possible. And that's helping also in their internal process. Mm -hmm. I think policy coherence is one of the things that Switzerland is known for, and especially policy coherence for migration and development. Yeah, we, we, we try our best. And um, I mean, it is, it is hard to convince uh, people who are confronted with um, migration issues that are not easy to solve. And on the other hand, to convince uh, development uh, people who are who have another objective than domestic interests mm -hmm. to convince them to work together is not an easy task no of course not well we definitely look forward to the continued leadership of swiss development cooperation and the global program on migration and development in this area thank you so much yeah. for being with us okay thanks, thanks. Melissa.